is Jajama. Today. And I heard that it's yes. part of the celebration that they have now been celebrating over 72 hours of uninterrupted electricity. And some people are trying to downplay that too. Have you seen that? Where people are saying that if you go to Scrabbles, if you go to all this oil installation, all the smaller communities, mm. they are enjoying 24 hours electricity. They want to make that to mm. downgrade this guy, right? But what this guy has done yeah. is that it is like saying, uh, for example, anybody who comes from Lagos State here, if you have anybody watching me in mm. Lagos State, right? Let's let's do this, right? Let's say somewhere you go, yeah, that they have managed to bring in uh, an investor that has built electricity and supply. That we now, you know, Lagos State, yeah. have, uh, they currently have about 37, I mean, sorry, 37 local government at SCDA, right? So let's let's use the yes. official one, 20 local government areas, right? So now let's say, yeah. say okay, from uh, Obalende, from Ireland, there, yeah? down to the mainland mm. here, you could do Ajekunle, all those places, first stack, you should do, look, we draw those areas there. Yeah? They are now having 24 hours yeah. electricity. 10 local government areas in Lagos State. But do you even have an idea what that means? Eh? Yeah. It's not like a something where they sell for, for industries, just industries. So we are talking about including homes. We are talking about villages. Where electricity, anywhere where cable pass, sha, they could get 24 hours electricity. Nine local government areas. Yeah. It's massive. Go on. Baba, do you, do you know that the if and that is not even hard to, to achieve that, hmm. you understand? And doing that, every micro business will revive instantly. You understand? Imagine all those factories now improve. who are not going to be buying diesel, buying petrol anymore. Imagine all the money they will save. Now they will give that money to the electricity the company, okay? Which means at the end of the day, what that will cost them if they are already, for example, if a business is spending, let's say, 20 million naira on this to a loan. Remember that same business is paying electricity bill, NEPA bill as well. Exactly. They may end up paying about exactly. 5 million around NEPA bill. Wait, wait, they know they give them. Now they have a standby exactly. electricity, 24 hours electricity all year uh, round. They will not only save 20 million, they are spending on this. Okay? They will be able to pay the electricity bill steady, steady, and use the money for something else in their business. They don't have no clue what this is, but some do, some do. Papa, do you know that apart from micro businesses that we revive and be uh, active, uh, and that will generate a lot standards. of employment, hmm. they will even disturb government, government, wala, all these rights they are sharing, the people can afford for themselves. Hmm. You understand? Know it will provide 50% of security because the light will be everywhere. Light everywhere. Hmm. There will be light everywhere. The CCTV, the light can power them 24/7, and you can monitor. You can monitor any trace of any any uh, criminality. Sure you, you understand? Improve, the, the, improve surveillance, improve security surveillance, improve awareness, and light up everywhere. Papa. I mean, apart from those who probably are hoping that it's going to fail, I really, really want to celebrate it here this, with these guys. And it's just phase one. We have another phase, so phase two. Baba, as we speak, as we speak, do you know that in Ghana, in Ghana, yeah. Ghana, almost yeah. everywhere now is having CCTV because they have constant electricity and criminality. They can monitor it. Even their vehicles, every vehicle in Ghana is putting. They are putting CCTV in their vehicles. Baba, I've if seen Nigeria, one. If all these guys, right? If all these guys could do. 24 hours electricity alone. Insecurity in Nigeria will drop by 60%. Just like that. Exactly. By 60%. Exactly. You see the remaining 40%, by the time they start tackling it, they can still cut down, can cut that down by another 30% and reduce crime rate on, in Nigeria to 10%. Sure you get it. Because electricity alone will put exactly. a lot of people in work. A lot of people will begin to get busy. Exactly. Sure you get it. And gradually, exactly. and gradually, the number of people who are available for criminal activities will be reducing and reducing and reducing. Why is somebody not doing something about it? Because they can't. They, they love uh, it the way it is. Yes, you know you know why they can't do anything about it, Baba. Eh? Because if they do anything about it, uh, it or if, you, if you monitor their trace of all this, they are looking through that they are stealing everywhere. It will monitor. That is just, it's just selfishness. 
Eh? It's just selfishness. Okay, let me just tell the people that are thinking if we will have it better, if we have our own nation. Immediately you have your own nation. You will have your, you will have your border. There's no mad, mad person that will come from uh, uh, Nigel and Chad and move with a cow. And behind the cow, they are carrying AK-47 to so enter the cross their border. Nobody will do it. Nobody will do it. Yeah? Mm. Go, go to our neighboring Togo. They are living in peace. Ghana, all the one, all the one that is uh, any henchmen terrorist, they change them away. They all go to, 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 to Nigeria. Uh, we are because it's a full of the henchmen terrorist. He opens his arm, arm and he welcomes them in with operation. It's visa on arrival. That was how Pantami was uh, made sure that the Nigerians do not get their passport. There was scarcity of passport. And then we are issuing them to all these terrorists. Issuing them to all these terrorists. Eh? And the, now, they want, they are, their plan now is to make sure that they settle them everywhere. Yeah. Then we then nationalize them with us. Mm -hmm. And they call us One Nigeria. Yeah. And we are shouting One Nigeria with them. And they will be, will be debating on the, on, the, on the national TV yeah. on how to make Nigeria work with yeah. terrorists that we don't know yeah. from all parts of the world. What are we talking about? Eh? Break this in and break this nonsense, this shit hole, and have your life back. Mm. Eh? What is difficult about it? You Thank know? you so much, uh, the eh? prince. My brother, it seems that my uh, brother, you are bless. either on the road you. or you left the window open. We enjoy the peace, just as you. I'm on the road. I'm on the road. Oh, yes. You are walking on the road. You, can, you still cannot ignore my ego's life, even on the road. How are you enjoying that? Baba, you don't know how we don't know how we value you, Baba. Oh, we so much cherish you. Thank you so much. Uh, anywhere where we there, I'm my good. I'm my good. Because you are only you are fast. You are you are in fact you are just like uh, one in the. Uh, we see you as one uh, only one in the wilderness shouting. I guess it because you are very, you are, your platform is very objective with the truth. I get it, me. All that they want to double here, for that platform we see, they want to double here and double here. You are straight to the point. You are organic with the truth. It's not, you. It's not that you tell us today, tomorrow, one day, tomorrow, change. you start telling us that uh, we were great. Yeah, well, still try to understand this, yeah. you could say, I don't get this guy. Yesterday was talking something. Now, I'm trying to understand. Now, he's talking something else again today. I don't understand this person. So, my, I am understood you are by my own people. You but, are unique. You are especially unique, Baba. Yes, yes the Sunday, Igbo is around. He's around. He's in, your town. I mean, he's in your town, by the way. He's in London. He's, we greet him. I let you know that my ego, my ego did a lot. He should, he should show appreciation to my ego. He is listening to it's us. actually not my ego. It's a lot of you with, here. With, remember, remember. With, it was, it was, yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah. was, uh, what's it called that one? By partisan coalition, this platform at that time. But we are grateful that we were able to pay a role there. But please enjoy the you, are the, you are the one that called us out, though. You are the one that called us out. Without Fair you enough. telling us, call us all answered. together and do this thing. Ooh, nobody will, will, will do it. You get what I mean? So that's why we, uh, we are saying, if you see it, Enjoy the rest of the day, my, my uh -huh. Nice one, Baba. We thank him. I appreciate uh, you. Okay. Baba. Thanks God a lot. God bless you. Right. Yeah. You have a good Take one. Care. Bye. Now that's yeah. the Prince Judge Man, ladies and gentlemen, who are uh, just uh, called in from London. I have other people who are trying to get through as well. Sorry about that. If you have been trying to get through and it's been like uh, acting up, I've got somebody who I believe is calling from uh, Niger. Oh, just with Niger number. Is that Chukwe Mika? Did I get that right? Hello there. This is sorry. The, sorry, I actually this is the Singapore. Word. Say that again. The Singapore guy. Right. Baba, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we thank God, sir. Are you good? Where do you number? Even like, you know. Anyway. Fear, <laughs> how how, yeah, how so. will we be every today? Yeah, we thank God, though. We thank God, you know. Thank God. You see, my ego, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you, Baba. Because you're one of the you're one of the one that let me make my decision, make up my mind about that uh, contraction called Nigeria. <laughs> it's nowhere to be found. But do you actually realize that there's one good thing about this and uh, this and uh, 
APC and uh, APC, yes, General. as a party. Okay. Honestly, there's one benefit. They have one benefit. I don't know. Maybe you've no, you are you you've noticed I have, that. I, I might have and, uh, possibly. Yeah. Tell us what is that one good thing. That one good thing is that you actually knows that it it reveals the people I call my friend that mm -hmm. I think I can even let my children go to their house and feel comfortable that my children are in their house and not knowing that they are evil. Hmm. Do you know what that thing another yes. person told me? They said that ABC hey. and especially the emergence of a dissertif numbu also exposed a lot of people that some of us grew up idolizing. Exactly. People will, will be like, oh my God, he just said something. Oh, ah, when I grow up, I want to be like this person. Oh, that people began to exactly. talk to something that you never imagined. Baba. So, really, even your yeah, friends, yeah, was one of enough that you are like, oh, more, I need to begin to rethink about do, my Do you actually like, know that? Yeah. There's one of them here in UK. Right. I think for the last couple of days now, I now put it to him. I said, do you actually know that this, because he's a supporter of this, uh, yeah, yeah. I said, do you actually know that this APC matter, Antinubu matter, make me realize the kind of person you are. It shows you're real, you are heartless, you don't have conscience. And since all this, they have been advising you to take your children and your family, go and be staying in that country. Yes, you never I leave. To take them back. Yes, you never go. And this is the kind of people that my, I will, if my children are in their house, I'll be thinking, I have rest of mind that my children are in a safer place. People you could trust. Your children. I mean, exactly. You so this. Your children's care in their care. Wow. Exactly. This APC. He, he, that, he, there's a benefit in it, though. There's this is what he reveal the real, yeah, the real identity. Do you, do you remember, identity of do you people. remember when I said if you have anybody that uh, that is a supporting uh, anything at all, anything, even if they, they are saying that there are some good people in APC, don't talk like that. There are some bad people everywhere. There are some good people everywhere. That if you have any family member that thinks like that, you should be very careful about hmm. them. It's so important, okay? Yes. And this is why. You see, people who are mostly uh, supporting these criminals, they are narcissistic. I'm talking about people who have no real uh, empathy, for real. Exactly. They are cold people, very cold-hearted people. Male, female. Yes. You understand? Then there are also people that are, that are like a secret uh, Luthers. They, are, they may be your brothers, they may be your friends, they may be your, your uh, partners and all of that, yeah? Or somehow, somehow, there are people that if any horrible thing happens to you, they won't feel sorry for you. Do you hmm. Like, it is who they are. So when they look at what APC, Egbe represents, they represent poverty, corruption, oppression, eh? terrorism. We have seen it again and again and again. If anybody finds any excuse to defend them, you should be careful hmm. of such people. You should. Yes. I yes. have told people around me, yes. If you have any love for APC, the day, you, the day your inner mind pushes you to say it to me will be the last day you ever come closer to me. It is a, it is a matter of policy and safety. You cannot be around people like mm -hmm. that. People who have no empathy. People who will tell yes. you, say people just they die in it. Is this the first time people are dying? Yes. Are they just kidnapping people? Mm -hmm. Eh? Shena today, Shena today, they, they, are, they are, come on, leave all of that. That's not the issue, Jerry. Let us move to another thing. People like that are sad people. Don't be friends. Exactly. With them. If you are working for them, go look for another job. If you are in relationship Honestly, with them, break it up. Right. If you have any business association with them, cut your losses. Terminate that relationship. Now, these people will see to your death and they won't blink. Yes. It doesn't matter how many years yes. you have been with them. It doesn't even matter if you were born from the same womb. If your brother is somebody who has something for APC, run from him. I know what I'm saying. These are dead, cold, hearted people. These are people exactly. that will enable every evil, even if it affects you. They will say, now nah, you'd be the first person. Don't blame them. Go and look for somebody. I said to, the, I said, do, I said to one woman, 
Yes, I said to one woman on one um, Don't be friend uh, platform that me, I used me, to watch. Me, you know, he knows APC. Uh, he says support APC. Mm. He's my friend. You have no idea what you are befriending. He could or don't worry. You will I, share your story yes, with me one I, day. Baba. I said, I said to one woman, I said, mm -hmm. I said, and you carry you carry child in your womb mm -hmm. for nine months. Mm -hmm. And you call yourself a mother and you are supporting all this. Oh, evil people. Evil Gidigon. And you know the thing is, Ajebi Mamo. In Yoruba, we say mm. Ajebi Mamo Oman Kogun Jaluni. That is somebody who heard and they do not agree that they have heard. They have, they have done something mm. wrong. People like that mm. always bring destruction, not to them, not upon themselves only, even upon the people mm. in their communities. That's what you see there. Mm. Do not befriend them. Terminate your relationship with them. It is for your own safety. Because if anything happens to you, they won't blink. They won't. These are people who said, Igbo should be, you know, they were, they were watching now, even Yoruba, who are Yorubas, right? Yorubas. Eh? Who mm. were uh, attacked because they didn't look Yoruba enough. They did not look dirty. They did not stink. Yorubas are not dirty people. They are not stinking people. But exactly. you have a system where they are glorifying and weaponizing poverty. And they are making that the order of the day. So you understand now. Then the people are now yes. training and they are profiling our people. They say, if it smells nice, it must be Igbo. We don't believe you are Yoruba. You cannot vote. They were attacking people and educated people abroad do. Yes, people live in the Western in world. Where everybody shout racism, racism, racism. They are comfortably saying, kill them, John. Kill all the Igbos. Send them away. And somebody will now tell you and say, I support APC, but I don't support some of the things they do. Baba Ron, no. Ron, no. Honestly. Do you actually know that in Lagos State, yeah. just of recent that they are selling custom rice, hmm. there was a woman with five kids. Hmm. The woman just gave birth. And she has uh, twins. Hmm. The woman went to the to the to that very particular place to go and buy uh, this uh, rice, hmm. and she died dead. I saw the as a result of stampede. I know. Honestly, she died. She want to so she want to surprise her husband before her husband came back from work that she got a bag of rice, and the woman died at that place. That's thing where they're selling rice by the custom. And mm. still, our people are still saying nothing is wrong. Mm. That is normal. Is that normality? It's not. It's not. Look you at this, 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 this no, guy. No, no. Now God give us, now God take him. It's the most stupid thing anybody mm. will say when tragedy is... Honestly. You know, say, 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 God. Ah, um, uh, hmm. That country. Yeah, that's what they talk about. Because this morning I was I was discussing with one guy mm -hmm. because there was a video that they were showing around on the Instagram right. about uh, this boy Cici Kodri. There's one guy is uh, an um, well, actor Cici Kodri. So about that guy just died, yeah. They like showed that. the video the video clip of the guy at the hospital complaining. Why the guy was saying? Yeah. Go on. Then when I when I had the discussion with one guy, the uh, that person told, he said probably. The death has been following him around. Yeah, is I said this na neg na medical negligence. No death is following him around. It's as a sort of medical negligence. Like I said the other day, that when my sister went to Ilorin uh, teaching hospital, yeah. that he almost she almost died overnight, and then I gave her the uh, uh, medicine and uh, prescription to go and buy instead of you to to have um. Put him on the bed and check her out. But they said she should go and buy a medication. 4 p.m. on that day, she died inside her shop. Damn it, she told us. It's medical negligence. It's not that uh, death has been. It's the time. It's the time. Has come. The time. The time has come. Hey. Some people will be confidently. You know something? Our problem is that intelligent people always doubt themselves. You see? You think of something. You look at it, you look at the pros, the cons, the advantages, disadvantages, and all of that stuff, and you are not too sure if you should go public with it. But foolish mm. people, they are so loud and confident. Eh? You will see foolish person go to tell you. I'm a medical doctor. I know what I'm saying, you know. You see, his time has come. Nee? That's how it happens. You see, when somebody's time has come, 
all it will take is just that person to just complain about something and it will just be little little something like this. Even if you take them abroad, even in America, even in Canada, if your time has come, you know, nothing any doctor can do. This is how foolish some of them are. They are so confident and loud in that nonsense, misconception, and superstitious belief. Where are we going to start from? Let me let me tell you something. Let me shed light to something today. I, I, I might be wrong, hmm. but something in, in me is telling me, yes. You see, you see that Tifnubu, eh? Hmm. He has a strong groom. A strong groom where he has pasted all the plans he's going to do. You know, like, like if you want to like, get like, all this, all this like mafia. A big operational room where everything is. Exactly. You know, all this mafia, how they operate it, where they want to keep I people. I doubt it. Anyone they want to keep, they will go and take the picture and close it. That's the next, the next person. He has all his plan. He will just go into the room, his strong room, and say, oh, this is the next. You see this last one he did about Binance. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I will tell you something. They're just playing game. The new quarter that Igbo people had won't do that business much. Hmm. It, yeah, it's Igbo people that are into all this digital currency more. Yes, I'm a Yoruba man, but I know what I'm doing because I'm in this business. So this is my business right. that I'm doing. Right. It's not that I'm doing it directly, but I know like it's Igbo you people are the one. the terrain you operate too, right? Right. Yes. Now Igbo people, now them order, now them carry percentage. But they just can't come out directly that we want to attack Igbos. That is what they're trying to do. They know Igbo they people are the no one dealing with uh, cryptocurrency. They can't get to all these guys. Crypto is so far from them. All of these things is so far from them. And they can only wish hey. and then hot night. Exactly. And that's what they are doing now. Hot exactly. You are just you are destroying the, the national economy. And you are as they've you see, he has a plan, he has all he has a strong group where he's been trying all the all his plan. No, it's working. Hmm. Everyone, you see, another one is still coming. They will still try because this one is not working because they are they never okay, didn't get stronger. Elena, one week, one policy. Nee. One week, one exactly. Policy. It two doesn't work. Policies. Mm -hmm. Yes, it doesn't work because I'm into a uh, money transfer business. Okay. So the rate didn't come down. The rate keeps going up. So anyway, you are now, Abby, because it's all it's a it's all fluke. You are in this business. It is trade by butter. It is a uh, buy and sell. If I call you now and say, Baba, I have uh, five thousand pounds, you get Naira. You, as, a, as somebody who is in that area, you will look for an error for me if you don't, Abby, because it's your business. Yes. Or you have to provide yes. an error for me and I'll give you my 5,000 pounds here. What you do exactly. with that 5,000, I don't know. You may take my 5,000 now, eh? And use them to buy crypto for somebody who gave you that naira in Nigeria. You are that there collecting your own commission, doing your own thing. You are just there yes. making all legal transaction pass and flow to wherever they want to. So if anybody, eh? is uh, uh, transacting illegally or moving money illegally. There are structure, there are mechanisms that, that will catch them. Nigeria is telling the world that we believe that some people are trading or hiding the Nigerian stolen money, but we just don't have an idea which of the Nigerians we just wanted to help us. But even if they encourage mm. them to enter the Binance uh, server room, with all of the details there. So yeah, take now all the Nigerians where they use them be this, they still won't be able to uh -huh. do anything. Baba. Exactly. They still won't be able to use it for anything. Because these guys are only fishing. Somebody told them uh, Binance was fined four billion dollars in America. It was fined uh, one billion pounds in the UK. It was fined uh, four point something billion in India. They did not check. The real story behind all of those uh, fine and ban rights. So they themselves just mm. say, we ban you and 10, 10, 10 billion dollars. They thought 10 it was billion. Can you imagine? Uh, Binance will just go into their draw and take out 10 billion and say, oh, sorry. Hey. Yeah, hey. This, is, this, this is even kidnapping. You and kidnap now, them. And now you abducted their representatives. Like, who does that? The whole world hey. is reading. The whole world is seeing this. And then you exactly. ask the world to come and invest in your country. Like, in the, uh, it is. what is this? So, the best best is for us to break this year. Yeah, so uh, they, are, they, are, they are telling us calling a Nigerian. Yeah. Eh? 
Nigeria. We, because if we are, you know, if everybody are, take their side, hey. we will know who we are. We will know what is coming in and what is coming out. Right. So we'll be able to, you see, I, I, I did this country now, me and my family. We are not born here now. No. I'm telling you, for the past two, over two weeks now, my son and my wife, they were in the, uh, because my son had a uh, surgery. And you believe, my ego, they had to give my wife another apartment, separate from the hospital that, should in case all of us want to come and see the boy, yeah. we can go into that yeah. hotel and yeah. go and sleep. Free of charge. Uh -uh. Baba, wait, even my wait. wife is not even sleeping. My wife is not even sleeping there. I'll tell you something. Eh? He gave my party. We 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 did with uh, uh, one uh, Scottish girl like that, and they were trying to have a child. Okay, and good enough, she became pregnant. That pregnancy, eh, was pretty much like it wasn't an easy one. So, uh, as you get out, got out of hand. And they couldn't find the uh, what do you call it, the medical sort of a setup that would take care of her in Scotland. Baba, they carry my party is uh, wow. in Spiancy. They put them in uh, in this air ambulance. Now from that airport, wow. my party say, ah, she, we are on our way to so 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 now. They were taking them to Scotland, hey. your area. So. They said that uh, they found a For specialist safety. somewhere they you know, in, in England to save her life. They needed to take all the yes. treatment of her, okay? To save her life because her kidney and lung was gone. Baba, her lung has collapsed. She was pretty much like half dead already anyway, right? But they took her there. They flew out of uh, Glasgow and flew my party out of Glasgow. When they got there, eh? my party said he actually forgot the problem that brought them. The level of comfort, wow. the, the room they wow. arranged for them, the preparation, and all of wow. that, even the way they were. Doing, you know, it's, it's from Niger now. Oh, you put no man, no man, eh? they no mind, they no waiting day. But now my own party, they look, say, in can they do calculations, say, if now my wife hey. long collapse like this, they consider go put them inside the helicopter. Helicopter, okay? Eh? Where I go see money? You know that stuff, right? He said, when he go to the uh, to the place, to that town, right? And they took them to the apartment in the hospital, Baba. He said he forgot why he was there. The worry, you know, the worry of, ah, oh my God, I'm praying that they, she's okay. Oh, eh? let's pray that she's okay. Oh, and she said, he said he was, he was kind of at peace because he, he started telling himself mm. that everybody is going to be fine. Everybody, my all right. She's going to be fine. Mm. In fact, I strongly believe that they are, even though when they came out and told him that they lost the, they lost the twins and all of that stuff, mm. and that broke him. But he said, for like two days, he felt like miracle day happened. Mm. My my fiance and my kids are going to be all right. It was, mm. it was, it was, it was such a complicated uh, pregnancy, and we lost that. Yeah, but at least life. at least they put at least they show they put effort, effort. to make sure they save. Yes, yes. I, I, my wife. I did tell my wife now. Baba Musofia won't be saying we can we can do this in our country too. The resources is there. The resources is. God has gave every country the resources. The resources is on the ground. Wow. We can do it. They just don't want to to spend money on every citizen. They don't want to do the right thing. It's not me. It's not magic. It's not magic. My wife said, "If my wife said, if you see the accommodation they gave us, they said they even said, okay, how many of us in the family? They said if everybody wants to come and be sleeping in that accommodation, we can come. That's why they gave us that accommodation. They will give you dinner. What are you saying?" Ah. If you stay in the hostel, I mean, if they stay in the hospital, you go choose which kind of food you want chop. My own uh, madam, she not like all their food, right? But somehow, so I mean, I love uh, their, uh, you know, I love few of their food here in uh, in the hospital, right? <laughs> so when when Agbeke had uh, when Agbeke had uh, uh, you and our last uh, daughter, right? Baba, <laughs> Baba, they said the Obo oh, Baba. See, oh, God damn it! Ah. They don't do us well in Nigeria. How much you can't pay? Baba. How much is the bill? How much you pay, Baba? Really, Baba? Eh? When we <laughs> when we they come ourselves, we were given the uh, packages that is probably over four hundred and fifty pounds, including meal, hey. including pampas, including a few other things that they gave to her. It's all normal. They give them to you. You get what I mean now? Hmm. Baba, they inside the place. Me and Nan they talk. Oh, they don't open a bell. Hey. Wow. And she was there, talking in my hand like that. I said, are you okay? You're right. 
The next your mother don't bring uh, Leila out to. Eh? You know they say people feel faint. Everything just look like normal. Huh? And then My I say, God. You know, they take her. So I can't go join them. They clean her body like that. They try to use a uh, towel to clean some of the old stain and all that. Or more. And afterward, hey. about a few minutes later, we don't deal with the word, though. They talk about, you know what I mean? Man, everything day everywhere. There is confidence in the system. There is no pressure on you as an, as an individual. I work, I pay tax in this country. That's what that money is meant for. Now, I don't want to give a damn about anybody who is in charge of government. Until the day, until the day you touch what? You touch me. Because if I pay my tax, I am expected to be provided with uh, medical care. My children are supposed to have access to medical care and education. Sure you get. So, mm -hmm. if you can't join mm -hmm. politics, you can't touch what you go touch me. Well, I'm here now. And that's why we don't mm. have that place. No, but no, no we no, don't no, have it. To be held responsible, Baba. No, we don't have it. We don't have it. In, the, in, in a state where, where people are dying of hunger, and the governor of that state yeah. has a three wristwatch that yeah. is equivalent to over 500 million naira. Yeah. Just three wristwatches. Yeah. A governor of a state where people are dying of because oh, of rice. Oh, oh, so we could and, a wristwatch that is worth uh, over 400 million naira. On that tiny hand, you're yes. only. Yes. Yeah. And people are dying of rice yeah. in that yeah. same yeah. state. And people are not on the street. Yeah, and people don't come out on the street yeah. to come at the hey. I only mind you, Baba. Thank you very much, Jerry Paul. Well done, Baba. Okay, sir. All right, nice one, Baba. Say me well to Madame, <laughs> and then uh, all right, the new soldiers too. Nice one, Baba. All right, thank so, you very much. Yes, so, uh, <clears throat> my line is still open. I know some of you are still pretty much trying to get uh, through. So let's see if I can get this individual who has been so so persistent. And I love so uh here i do not want to keep uh keeping you because this seems like an out of a state uh, call and i don't know if you have been charged voicemail call. how are you i'm good my ego this is Sir. idris i'm calling from romania no idris. problem i can speak to you idris from yes. romania Yes. It's like we have spoken before. Me and you don't talk before, right? No, 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 no. I've been, I've been following you, like, from the, 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 the bicycle ages and the, 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 the kitchen time, all yeah. the food. So have I've been following you. On this uh, program, no, no. ever? To, today is my first time of calling, but I just said, let me call my... That's right. My ego, I'm... Make I not speak English. Make I not speak English, I beg you. You oh, are yeah, too much, bro. You go, you go miss up for us now because you know. I'm you you right too much. Ball. Anyway, I, I I come from Kogi State, okay, precisely. God bless you, Idris. Go on. I I they, I they follow everything that you are saying. You guys wake me up. Hmm. You and uh, Martin and Bekano. Two of you wake me up to see the reality of Nigeria, my brother. Hmm. Hmm. Man, is this a country? Or I'm I'm in Romania. Romania don't don't have all, you know. But I do. I you are living. You are living like. I have somebody to believe in. Yes. You still have life, you have standard, and you have things that is befitting of human, not where you are being treated as if to say, man, stop human. I, hmm. you, 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 you only say something that uh, Nigeria, the Nigerians are sick. My brother, hmm. if somebody is not sick, my mom is in Nigeria, they are living in Abuja. Bless her. My uncle is in Abuja. My grandmother is in, Niger in, is in the village. Wow. I'm, help I'm supporting this old woman every time. Hmm. My uncle now start telling telling people that uh, I have to be sending the money to him first before he will send it to my grandmother. Why? You know, if, 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 if somebody is not sick, hmm. how would you think about something like this? And you say you still want to you see what you are looking for a space of how to take advantage of something that has no problem getting to the beneficiary. Wow. You you you, you understand? See, everybody is corrupt in that country. Everybody, everybody, nobody is free. Everybody is corrupt. If you go to Nigeria, everybody is trying to Take find advantage. a way to catch something from you to pick, to pick, mm. to pick. Mm. You know, mm. I, 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 you, people, you people wake me up like to see the reality of that country. They made us, to, you know, they made us to hate evil people. Just We don't even know why you are hating these people. If you what, ask anyone of them hating? and say, please come, come. I know you have a lot to say about the Igbos, okay, but I have a question for you, right? Uh, do you mind educating me, right? Uh, on your prejudice against the Igbos. Can you tell me what exactly that the Igbos have done 
in this country that really, really brings about this, your prejudice, the way you feel towards them. Can you say something? I've, to, I've asked few people, you know something, they'll say, but you know, you know, they always no. want to control everybody. I said, no, they ever try to control you. There's no reasonable thing. There's, there's no reasonable, no reasonable reason. Nothing. No reasonable reason. Nothing. Just what they were told by their parents, by their uncles, by their aunties. And those ones are saying what their own uncles, aunties, and parents told them. I am yet to see one to give, who will give me any real sensible I, I, reason. I, I never see anything. I never see anything. The to ridiculous it. one, Idris, eh? The ridiculous one is somebody who is not Igbo who come and say, eh, hey, but Igbos don't love themselves. I say, ah. Is that why you don't uh, like the Igbos? <laughs> we, 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 we don't even love ourselves. Uh -huh. We we don't even love ourselves. We don't love ourselves, but we are complaining about Igbos. Uh -huh. we, do, we, do we love our own do selves? Do we love yourselves? Do we love ourselves? Are we being honest and sincere with ourselves, even when we are not Igbos or when we are not Yorubas or when we are not Awusas? I'm talking about who you are. Are you even honest? Like that, when we ask ourselves uh, so. Hmm? And these guys, and these people guys, yeah. I, 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 I lived in London before like two years. I came back to Romania because of family issue. My wife don't like to stay here, you know? Oh, so we came oh, back here. Bless all, all, you, all the people who try to help me in that country, Yoruba, Igbo, hmm. these people will start calling you my brother. You don't, they don't even know what's your name. All the, my brother. They don't really care. You know, my my just, brother. You know? my, that, is, that is the only thing they say, my brother. Yes. I, you, you know, they don't care where you come from. No. They, will tell, they will try to tell you these are the things they you can do. They don't care what you are capable things. of doing or what you can do with them or what you can both do to kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, progress one another. Anything from that is a waste of time for an Igbo person. That's why they will say, if you see an Igbo man who is uh, bragging in bigotry, an Igbo man who is complaining about uh, Nigeria is lazy-minded. An average I tell you, don't give a damn about who you are, where you come from. If there is a business, it, event, it, it, right, it, it's ready. It, the, the thing is that all the whole country, everybody is like this. Like, oh, this is my first time of seeing a Yoruba people speaking hey. this truth. I say, this is the first time of seeing Yoruba. How many Yoruba people you know? How many do you know? And how many? How many do you know? And yeah. I, I was just like, if you if you want to see people who are speaking the truth, go and look, go and watch my book. And you will hear every Yoruba people talking there. They will call and they will be speaking. That those are. Part of your bus that I mean, I I I am watching every day. I'm following my brother. I'm following you every day. I'm at work. My headphone is on my ear. If anybody is talking to me, you're on your own. I'm just concentrating on what I'm listening to. God bless you and thank you so. Much. My brother, you changed my life, bro. You I'm changed my life, my brother. You my my God will bless you, bro. You, you changed my life, man. You, you changed my life. I like, appreciate which, every which time comes with this one. Like, like, as you are, like as, as you are saying just now, hmm. one time my, my son had an accident, like they went to the park, right. they played. My brother, they called ambulance. They had to come with helicopter to come and pick the guy. Hmm. Me, we never had a helicopter before. Uh, it's going to be me like, say, I didn't make a use of the like, uh, uh, You know, you never do when you say, you go be like, say, uh, sorry. I hope they are not going to send the bill to the house. I said, no, no, they won't. My are, brother, you sure? my <laughs> are you sure they won't come later and say we need to pay no. so so and so? Because I, I could drive him to the hospital. I could drive oh, him with this helicopter. Like, have you ever felt like that in that position before? You know, ever? You know, like, when I came, when yeah. I came here first, I got sick. I, I had to stay in the hospital like three weeks. Oh. I paid zero, zero naira, zero like zero naira. I paid. I said, their hospital, they, they, um, uh, their hospital here is just like my brother. Somebody is doing I big money in Nigeria hospital. who took uh, his wife to the hospital. He just paid the five million naira, okay, mm -hmm. for, for medical mm -hmm. care. And he's there feeling cool. And how, said this. How, okay, how, the same person, oh, Baba, the same person is also probably paying tax, you oh. Eh? In that same paying country. Tax and oh. paying. What kind of a thing is that? My brother, I said I say in the hospital three weeks. Hmm. Last the first one I got uh, I got injured because I used to play football. I was a footballer, you know. I got oh, injured. You go, you go, so you go, I had to, to operate uh, my knee. One and uh, Mozuabi, go on. I had I had to operate my knee. Oh dear. I said nothing. I said nothing. Later I got sick. I spent three weeks in the hospital. I said nothing. I was like having fun in the hospital. There is there is Wi-Fi. There is everything. There is no, food every time. Food. When I didn't say nothing. The, the doctors, the nurses, they talk to me like you are a human being. But look at us. Where me and you are I, talking I, I, about I, Romania, FK. I'm talking about Scottish and UK. My brother, Romania, I don't, right? I, I don't know what they have. In, 
Eh? I don't know what they have here, but they can give you all this health care for free. At least education, health care, those two things. My then children, the third one, my kids, security, Baba. They are things that will show to, to you that people in power care about you. If none of this exists, no, Baba, no. you are deceiving yourself. I don't even. I know, I know, I know, I know. Like uh, the governor of one state here, I've been to his to his house, and I was like, this person is like a governor. They call them Primaria. Right. He looks like a governor. When government chairman in our in our village, he says you cannot even enter their house. No, anyhow. Not if anyhow. we hear Sarin, if we, if we hear Sarin here, it's only when hospital uh, the, 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 the the ambulance is going to pick somebody or police is going police for is maybe somewhere. kind of rescue. Hmm. No, there's nothing like governor is coming. Everybody have to clear road, all those things. Ah. Well, educated, come to, come people, education. educated people. Supposedly, educated people will tell you Romania is not Nigeria. You know, another thing that get me so mad with some of those who claim to be educated, morally bankrupt mm. people, eh, is that yes, any easy thing that they can uh, pick, for example, now if you say, uh, American uh, economy. American economy is having a sort of a turbulence, so, 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 and so. They will now tell you if American economy can have problem, eh, why are you complaining about mm. Nigeria economy? Yes, look at that. Uh, compare, compare Nigeria to America. Say everywhere, all over the world, the economy bad. Everybody's complaining. If they say people are losing their jobs in America, they will say, and you say, ah, people have no job in Nigeria. They say, but America too. Do you know how many people will not get job for UK? Have you not seen the latest say, blah, 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 blah? So people that have no, no job in Nigeria, it's not a new thing. You know one thing, that, the, the, why that one kind of mows me and kind of get me a little bit upset and angry is because mm. the same people will never say, oh, my, look at healthcare, access to healthcare in the UK. Why don't we have access to healthcare in Nigeria? If we have access to recession, Bad economy, mm -hmm. and we have mm -hmm. access to all this global economy. Wahala, how come we know we have access to terrorism? How come we don't everywhere. get access to good health care, free and accessible health care, quality education? Eh, like Americans, mm. like uh, the British, like the Romanians, Baba. So they will compare Nigeria with America when there is problem. And then they will send away, uh, what do you call it, the good thing in America. They will say, you don't deserve those. Because who you go compare? What do you go compare between America and Nigeria when it comes to mm -hmm. electricity, no security? Show your own. You always say something. The yeah. policy of one policy of a government can destroy everything. Mm -hmm. Bef when I came to Romania, the first time I came to Romania, that's... The, the first time I came to Romania, my sister was working in Nigeria. He had a car. He was working. My brother was working. Wow. This guy, my brother, he used to keep money with me. Like, hmm. when I came here, uh, I, before I could settle down, they were sending me money to support me from Nigeria. Yeah. Now, now, uh, if I send money to them, they lost their job. Two of them lost their job. The car is gone. Now, my brother is working like... He doesn't care about his, himself anymore. And I tell my mom, like, don't blame this guy. Hmm. The government, Nigeria, don't have to this guy with that. Because this guy is a hustler. I know how he works. And every day he goes to, and he was making money. We had it came, all these things yeah. go one time. Everything go. There are so my many people who lost, my who lost, lost her car. everything. Lost her job. Their business, their job. Everything. And everything. Yes, some even lost their marriages. Baba. Lost, 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 their lost, their lost their marriage. Yes. Two of them lost their marriage. Two see? of them lost their marriage. You see? I, this one is, is sure. They lost their marriage. They have to do Because once the now, financial part of your life becomes uh, problematic, it's going to affect a lot of things. And the moment, it's, going to, it's not going to happen overnight. It will take years. And at the end of the accumulation of all of this, you just see your whole life going out in smoke. See, people will be say with a call for Nigeria and say, ah, hi, uh, Uche. See, I I need to give somebody 1.5 million naira, okay? But the money, I'm not going to get the money until the end of the month. And I want you to please help me. Because Uche knows, say, you be man, you be uh, baba. If you say you need 10 million, Uche go go find out. Because he knows, say, you go send down. You go even put Jara on top and say, Uche, you yourself take this on you take a manage. Mm. People who are working hard and making their money. We they call people for Nigeria, they send me money. See, people they send me money from Nigeria, right? Where I go change, I go yeah. pay like two thousand, four thousand pounds for a year. 
Mm. Today, Nami, they send them money, may they no die. Say, make them still money. They, and Nami, when they, Nami, when they uh, 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 motivate them, say, when person no die, oh, still they, just continue. My Anything brother, I my do, brother, I give to my you. brother. I watched them, I lost said, everything in 80 years, my brother. It's real. For those who are living in denial, they should continue. There are a lot of people who still don't understand what is. I tell them when I when I call them and I'm explaining to them, they will say eh, all these things that you forget about. I said no, I'm not telling you to do anything, mm. but be aware, know what is happening around you. Mm. That is the most important thing. You cannot do anything, right? You cannot be know what something is that is destroying you. you. Can't they wonder why things are going bad for you? You, you must know be what aware. Is happening around you. Yes. Like here, for example, like here, for example, we are buying bread here last year, mm. eight naira. Mm. Now we are buying it nine naira. Mm. Or oh, and people are complaining. Example, I'm saying, like the bread last year yeah, was our eight Romanian uh, currency, of, six uh, Romanian currency. Now it's now nine. Oh, and people yes, are complaining, of course. The, Why wouldn't they? They are, they are complaining already. They are complaining. Oh, you the, you you add one uh, one uh, one uh, naira yeah. on top, but, but the salary is the same. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. People are complaining already. And Nigeria, within seven months, from this four hundred and fifty naira to one thousand eight hundred dollar. And people are buying bread now, 1,000 plus or 1,000 naira. Like. naira. They are buying it for 1,900 naira today. We were buying spaghetti for 80 naira, 90 naira, eight years ago. But it is now almost 1,000 naira, one pack like that. I, or more. I remember those things. And they are telling <laughs> them that uh, inflation is 33%. Yeah, you they buy something, you they buy something for you they buy something for 100 naira, then it don't jump to 1,300 naira. Person, mm. you see, 